Denise. Uh, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, but uh, moved to New York about almost seven years ago now. I am a former Hillary supporter. I uh, have been a Democrat since I could make up my mind. I like to tell people I came out of the womb a feminist. Before I'm a liberal, before I'm a Democrat, before I'm a democratic socialist, I'm a feminist. So of course, that's the reason why I did support Hillary so strongly in the past. Um, she was the female candidate. She's a really controversial candidate. She has a lot of dirty laundry. She's not the one. And you really have to look at her voting record. You have to look at it. You know, I, I speak to a lot of LGBT women who, you know, Hillary's, Hillary's their woman. And I'm, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, but what about her support of DOMA? What about the support of the Defense of Marriage Act? You know, she flip-flopped on that. And the excitement for her, I mean, if you look at all the exit polls, even from Wisconsin, there's no excitement around her candidacy. Sure, people are supporting her, but nobody is excited to support her. With Obama, he was our first black president, but people were so excited. There was so much enthusiasm. The Demo Democratic Party was like amped to have him be their candidate. It's not like that with Hillary. I don't want the first female candidate to go into office with so much distaste and apathy for her presidency. I grew up listening to Fox News with my grandparents when I was very young and, and Bill Clinton was in office and I'd always hear them yelling at the screen saying, you know, Bill Clinton's a crook, he's a crook. And then I learned from my dad, who was uh, an air traffic controller, and they all voted for Ronald Reagan. And then when they went on strike, when he didn't fulfill their demands, um, he fired all the air traffic controllers. So my father got fired by Ronald Reagan. I had this kind of dual understanding that on both sides people lied and I never really understood why as a kid and then when Bernie Sanders comes along and says well they do lie because they're not they're kind of puppets to whatever big business is supporting them whatever super PACs are supporting them whatever lobbyists they have in their pockets and then now it all suddenly makes sense it's like this veil of questioning why are why do politicians have to be liars? It's all answered suddenly in this, you know, candidate from Vermont that's saying we don't have to do this. We don't have to be this country. We can get rid of Citizens United. We can mobilize the people. Suddenly we can be a democracy that we have the potential to be. April 19th, New Yorkers, vote for Bernie. So he calls me up and he's like, I still love you. And I'm like, I'm just, I mean, this is exhausting, you know? Like, we're never getting back together. Like, ever.